Hello, you're watching Real Ale Review with Andrew. Um, again, I've gone with one for that was a gift. Um, believe again from Bottle and Co. Uh, from local to me, from my brother again. Thank you. Um, this one, um, looking really forward to. So it is Off Tempo by Badco. Uh, it's a milkshake IPA, and it is 5.8 percent. So if I can hold it the right side, that will really help. Um, nice pattern on the actual can. So now always gets me with the cans. They just has to look nice and it drags me in. Um, but let's see what this one's like as well. So again, it's another light ale, like the last one I actually tried in the last one, uh, the last video I have um, just recorded actually, with the uh, the honeycomb one. Um, so it's just following on. Looks in down this similar one. It's slightly darker, still very light. Um, poured better this time than the last one. But here we are. Let's have a look. I can smell the flavour as well straight away here. So, yes, I say uh, off tempo. I uh, bad coat. I had the the previous bad coat one as well. So slightly cloudy. Um, from what I can see, it seems as if it looks. The same as the honeycomb one, it, it, it's not this one, is darker, it is pretty much as it appears in the video there. Um, anyway, let's have a go. Let's have a go again. This one's strong, I wouldn't say it doesn't smell anything like a milk drink. It's it's a very citrusy smell, so it smells like the cloud um, they had from salt. Um, yeah, it smells are like anyway. That's have a taste. It's nice. It's very similar to the cloud. Not as strong. It doesn't seem to hit you as much when you drink it. It still seems quite light. Um, there's there's no flavour of milkshake as such to it. It's not a bad thing. If you're going for it for that flavour, I don't think you're getting it. But a beer itself, it's nice. It, it is um, a nice IPA. Um, they can be quite similar. As I mentioned, it, it is very like the cloud. So if you've had the cloud before by salt, then it's just like that, but not overpowering. So it's not. It's, that's not a bad drink. What I'm saying is, you you feel like you're tasting a strong alcoholic drink, whereas this, it feels much lighter. It doesn't feel too bad. Um, very nice. Would say yeah, give it, give it a go as I always do for every single one I've had, even if I have not been uh, impressed with it. There just isn't that taste, so it wouldn't be something where if you saw that and thought, well, that's dragged me, and I'm gonna have it as a milkshake flavour. It hasn't got any kind of um, milkshake flavour to it whatsoever so um, good beer not really the taste you're expecting um, that's why I'm slightly disappointed not because it's a bad beer because I was hoping for a milkshake kind of flavour um, but uh, it's very nice I, I, it's for example when I had a um, previous one it was I went to Fleece I believe it was um, Possibly in Huddersfield. I will put just a little picture of it up here and then put a link if they have a website. Um, they had a chocolate milkshake on once. It was um, dark. I think it was a stout and it was absolutely de delicious. Uh, it was something where it was just like a milkshake um, flavour to it. It was obviously still having that the actual ale taste to it, but it had a really strong taste. So it was something where if you wanted something with a milkshake flavour, a chocolate flavour, it had it all within that and it was absolutely delicious. There was a marshmallow one I had um, at a local Wath Tap. Um, again, put a picture there, I'll put their website on, um, or even the Facebook page. And they had one on it, it would have a couple of years ago and it was a marshmallow one and it was absolutely fantastic, really delicious. Those are probably the best two I've actually had where they've had such flavours as those. If I can find a picture, I will pop it up as well in the top corner. Um, I'll try and research and find out what it was because I'm disappointed I can't remember. Um, 
but as we are on the off tempo from Bad Co, very nice IPA, no real milkshake flavour that I am getting there. Um, but thank you very much for your view. If you do disagree with me or feel I'm being a bit tight, please drop it in there. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for your view. You have a good day.